Well, I'm going to have to make another one of them stupid people videos. I thought this was common sense. And this is one of the reasons I have such a hard time teaching adults. Because I figure adults should know better. And they should be able to teach their children. Another reason I would like to see bringing back the spanking of adults, the parents. Many of y'all know what this is. Anyway, I'm titling this video, Stupid Men and Women That Wear Hats. Now, I'm going to try to put this in baby talk. So, you can teach this to your children. This is another one of those personal hygiene things, which are common sense. When you wear a hat. Your head, it keeps your head warm, protects you from ultraviolet rays. Hats are great. But, if you do not take care of your scalp, see, when you're trapping that heat and moisture in, all that oil on your scalp sits there and sweats and dries and the salt layers get in there. Now, most people, they'll wash their hair, they'll put the thing in, and it feels squeaky clean, and they think they're clean. They're not. You have to clean where your hair comes from. And for y'all dummies out there that ain't figured it out yet, it's called your scalp. You cannot get to it by doing this. A few women have figured out that after they take a shower... They brush their hair, you know, to get the oils back in it. But if that stupid woman puts one of these on after doing that, she has just trapped those oils and they get in and clog the hairs and the women wind up with hair loss. Thinning hair. Women like to call it thinning hair. Either way, you're going bald. You guys like to wear hats? Fine and dandy. Before you take your shower, before you wash and shampoo, take one of these brushes, or these, doesn't matter. They make these specifically for uh, scalp massagers. I prefer this because it works for combing and washing. And the bristles are smaller, so they get in more in contact with your scalp. I don't care about your hair. I'm not worried about your hair because your hair starts at your scalp. Get that through your... Ooh, I, I, why am I making this video? This should be common sense. Once you lather your hair up, brush that soap all the way through your scalp. That will get your scalp clean. That will unclog the pores in your scalp and keep you from going bald like most people that wear hats. If you're going to wear one of these things, even if you don't wear one, good idea to use this. I mean, I hate to brag, but I'm nearly 55 years old. And I don't use Grecian. I do not use Grecian hair coloring or nothing. Got a little gray here. I don't use no hair coloring, but I've been using this, well actually I've been using this to wash my hair ever since I was a teenager. In other words, when I, when I lather it up, I make sure everything's scrubbed and wash it. And if you wear a hat, don't use no uh, conditioners because all you're doing is packing that stuff down into the pores of your scalp. So if you're going to wear a hat, this is better. Minimum, use this. That means with soap. Before you get in the shower, loosen all the dirt up. I mean, we do the same thing with our horses. Any of you horse owners know you take a curry comb and you loosen all the dirt up. Then you take the finer brush and brush the dirt out. Kind of similar. So before you get in the shower, if you don't want to, you know, 
brush your hair, I don't know, a minute, 60 seconds, whatever. Then get in the shower, lather up, and use the brush again. And brush the soap all the way through your scalp. And for you guys, you may want to pay extra attention to this area here because when you wear hats, that's the first place it goes bald. I also recommend using a deep cleaning type shampoo. It doesn't have to be this brand, but you'll you'll see deep cleaning. You're not cleaning your hair, you're cleaning your scalp. Because this Although it keeps your head warm, it also traps all those oils in there and gets down into your pores. Kind of similar to young folks that don't know how to wash their face and they get big blackheads and everything in their face. Well, I wash, I wash. Yeah, well, you don't wash good enough. Otherwise, you wouldn't have big pussy blackheads. Anyhow, maybe if I had blackheads, I'd do a video on how to get rid of your blackheads without pimpling your face up. But I'm sure there's other videos out there for that. So for you idiots out there that don't know personal hygiene, take, one, take your brush into the shower with you. It's not going to hurt you. If you have a real sensitive scalp, you know what that means? It means your head's in... in uh, bad shape because after using this just go lightly and after about a week or so you'll be able to just go right on through there and it'll clean your scalp and your hair more efficiently than you can with this it, it just that just don't won't cut it folks cheap I mean I think this is the same one I used when I was a teenager this is uh one of those Stanley brushes that I sold in grade school. You know, the, great, the schools would sell it for extra, uh, make money for school projects. Still got it. It's not a, it's not a real soft bristle. It's not a real hard bristle. I'd say a medium. Call it a medium bristle brush. And run it through your hair. And make because you'll know when it hits your scalp, you will feel it hitting your scalp with the soap. All right. Of course, ideally is to do it a little bit before you get in the shower to loosen everything up. Then get in the shower and with the shampoo, a deep cleaning shampoo. Use a deep cleaning shampoo. And if you wear a hat, forget the conditioner. If you're a woman and you got that long hair, only put the conditioner on the part away from your scalp. Do not put the conditioner that touches your scalp. Thank you.